guys. Hey. hey. What are you up to? <laughs> Just sitting outside after practice. Catching a, a sunburn. <laughs> Catching a suntan. <laughs> we are at Air Force Academy skating. Um, we just wrapped up Champs Camp, and we're here with Christopher Dean touching up our programs. Awesome. Can we ask you some questions? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what are three things you always have in your skating bag? My lacrosse ball. A lacrosse ball. ball. My skates. Snacks. <laughs> some... Skate towel. A towel, because I always sweat, like, just, I'm pouring sweat when we skate, so I usually bring a towel to be courteous. Thank sweat, you. you know, Appreciate it. Don't sweat all over you. <laughs> That's more than three things, but... Well, that's three things for you. A roller, a foam roller. A nail file, necessary. My nails are always, like, I catch them on my blades. Don't want to scratch them. Well, so courteous. <laughs> what was your first skating memory? I remember being in Learn to Skate and wearing snow pants to practice because it was really just kind of sit on the ice. and It was more like luge training than anything. Because, <laughs> you know, I was four years old. I was four years old when I started, I remember. I, I remember doing basic one twice, but not because I failed it, because when we signed up for the next session, I just didn't mark that I had already done it. So, but extra practice on the fundamentals. Fundamentals is always good. Solid That's, foundation. Who remembers a lot? Yeah. I, my memory yeah. is also from Learn to Skate, but it's not as detailed. I just remember every time we would do an exercise and get down to the corner, I'd always get there first, and then I'd just start twirling on the spot and wait for everyone to get there. And while the coach was talking, I wasn't paying attention. I would just be twirling like on my toe pick. And, yeah. That sounds adorable. <laughs> what about one of your first um, non-skating memories? Hmm. I have a lot of memories being outside playing sports as a kid. I was just a sports-crazed young child. And if no one would play catch with me, I would just go in the backyard and play by myself. <laughs> I remember having, <laughs> you know, bringing out a baseball, like a wiffle ball uh, and, a, and a wiffle ball bat, tossing it up, crushing it into the neighbor's yard, running after it, picking it up, and just, you know, that's how my evenings were spent as a kid. I love it. What made you decide to start ice dancing? Uh, my coach suggested I should try it because I liked twirling so much <laughs> and footworks. And I just loved it. After that, I just fell in love with it and there was nothing else for me. Yeah, it's worked out. <laughs> How long have you been skating together? Six since years. 2011. Yeah. yeah. Almost eight years, but six years, yeah. Six years. Yeah. Maddie, what about Evan stood out to you the most after your first time skating together? He's tall. No, sorry. <laughs> His, <laughs> his sense of humor, I remember just getting off the session and we had just been laughing the entire time and we had such a blast just in our tryout and I was like, yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> and then what's the best part about skating with Maddie? Um, she's got great energy. Um, she always comes to the rink and, and she's just got this, you know, aura of goodness about her and, and it's infectious and she just, she lights up the room when she walks into it and so it's... You know, I get my energy from her a lot of days when I'm not feeling it. <laughs> What's the silliest thing you've ever argued about? We were asked this before. Yeah, we were. So I there, can't remember. When we were traveling in Amsterdam and <laughs> we I was so like, wrong. I was like, you know, she's, she's much better with directions, but I was like, you know, leading us around and I just took us like out of the airport and like we had to go p check back in, go through security again. And I was so mad. I was just like, I was like oh. sorry. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready? I do. Who spends more time on their phone? Who, who looks better? <laughs> who spends more time on their phone? Oh, I think, I think we're, we're both, equally guilty. both bad. Yeah. But we've been so much better lately. Yeah. I think everyone is. Yeah. yeah. Who takes longer to learn choreography? Uh, I think Depends. I think we're pretty even. I think we're even. pretty even, yeah. yeah. I think we work well together. Yeah. Who's regard. messier? It depends, I guess. We're pretty similar, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Like some, it, it's messy, great when we're, we're when when like you know I'm in a messy phase and you're in a clean phase and you can kind of like we kind of like rub off on me it. or or vice versa. Sometimes <laughs> exactly. we're sometimes I'm a neat freak and sometimes I just get home from skating and can't tired, do the dishes yeah. or do the laundry and it builds up. We really are very similar in those aspects. <laughs> Who's better at dealing with jet lag? I think Maddie Probably can. I am. Yeah, she's yeah. she's a great sleeper. I can sleep anywhere. Is that your secret? <laughs> you just. <laughs> Con, like, not like Rohin. Always be tired. So not as good as Rohin. Oh, no, yeah. Rohin is like, 
I think he has a little bit of narcolepsy. <laughs> we'll just be talking to him in the car, driving. It's cars. He falls asleep. <laughs> he falls asleep in cars. Mid sentence. Since he, he was, was a child, like... you know, we'll put put him in the car, and Nothing then like joking. ten minutes later, I'll look back and. And we just like tap each other. We're like, <laughs> I'm not sleeping. He's. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> What's your favorite place that you've been to? Hmm. I'd say Tokyo. I think it's yeah, just Tokyo is so 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 cool the country's so cool the fans are amazing and when mm -hmm. we skate there it's just the experience is unrivaled i really loved barcelona as well the history of the city the architecture was so cool and the fans were so nice yeah. it's not often you get to compete in spain and we were for fortunate us. yeah for us but we were fortunate to have both of the grand prix finals in spain yeah what's one place you would love to visit Ooh, somewhere tropical. Yeah. Ooh, we, yeah. Yeah. New Zealand, Bora Bora. There's a Junior Grand Prix in Australia. Australia. Oh, we can't go back to Junior. Is so. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's one dessert you can't resist? Mmm. Chocolate. Brownies. Vegan chocolate now. Yeah, right. <laughs> is there anything you would never try? <clears throat> Eyeballs. I. Oh. <laughs> Eating eyeballs? Yeah, I wouldn't try that either. Of course not. Agreed. How would you describe your partnership in three ways? <laughs> I don't know why that was the first thought. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. <laughs> eyeballs. Um, in three words, how do we describe our partnership? Okay. Fun. It's fun. Very fun. fun. No, just fun. I'm trying to think of a word, but I can't think. I'm Cohesive, but that's not the word that's I want nice. to say. That's nice. That's a good one. Okay. Fun, cohesive, and loving. Loving. There you go. How do you describe each other in three words? Kind, giving, talented, beautiful. <laughs> it's more than three lovely. Words. <laughs> <laughs> you extra. Yeah. Maddie, what about you? Smart, witty. Handsome. Oh, wow. That's three. No, there's more. Make it count. <laughs> Top three. Well, that's it. Thanks for letting us help hang out while you relax. Thank you. Thank you.